I'm willing to bet most of you have owned a Honda at some point in your life. With the widespread success of the brand, it seems only natural that its corporate cousin Acura would share the same success. And yet, that's not exactly the case. Acura may have been the first luxury Japanese brand on American shores but over the years it's suffered a bit of an identity crisis. Is it full on luxury or a near luxury alternative meant to appeal to a larger base? I can't answer that question. Although I could share a couple of theories. And Acura, XA0 doesn't, XA0 really seem to know the answer either. But the strongest case the automaker makes for proving its luxury chops is, XA0 undoubtedly, XA0 the 2013 MDX. The MDX is offered in single trim level with three available packages. At the bottom end of the spectrum the tech trimmings are a little bleak. With only Bluetooth hands-free calling and a three-way rearview camera included. Step up to the tech package and in addition to a premium leather appointed interior you get. Acura's navigation system with voice recognition. AcuraLink telematics system with real-time traffic and weather alerts. An 8-inch VGA screen. Upgraded Acura L stereo system. And GPS-linked temperature controls. Automakers need to start catering to the myriad of smartphone user out there and not just those. Faithful to Cupertino. Finally. In addition to tech treats like a collision mitigation braking system adaptive cruise control and blind spot monitoring the advance package throws in some cosmetic and performance related features like an active sport suspension perforated leather interior heated and cooled front seats and 19 inch 7 spoke alloy wheels as a rule i don't think there is such a thing as too much tech which is why i'm pleased with what the 2013 mdx offers T, T, T operating the XA0 navigation, XA0 system is accomplished through Acura's central controller dial itself, XA0 fairly simple to use. Likewise, setting destinations and searching for addresses is also intuitive. Entering destinations can be carried out through voice controls as well. And while I'm generally skeptical of the voice recognition technology in most vehicles, I was pleased that the software never had much trouble understanding me. It also auto-adjusts to lighting conditions quickly, removing the need to fiddle with it whenever lighting conditions change. For the most part, it all operates nicely but Acura desperately needs to overhaul its infotainment menu design. It still looks too similar to what you'd see.